Welcome to how to build an AWS IoT Button Slack bot for beginners. This hands-on project-based course will take you step by step and teach you how to create an AWS IoT Button Slack bot. My name is James Hurst and I'll be leading you through the course. I began my career as a software developer and have since transitioned to the role of an AWS Solutions Architect and technical trainer for Brigham Young University. I stay up to date on AWS by attending conferences such as reInvent, as well as on-site trainings at AWS headquarters. IoT is a super hot topic right now and it's experiencing incredible growth. This is the perfect way to get some hands-on experience with the AWS IoT service. By the end of the course, you'll have exposure to the IoT buttons, the AWS things and thing types, the MQTT client, and Lambda functions and Slack webhooks. Throughout the course, we'll go through and we'll talk about the different generations of IoT buttons. We'll set up and configure the button to connect to your own AWS account. We'll then create a Lambda function using the code provided to connect your button to post a message to the Slack platform. After that, we'll create the Slack channel and create the webhook that's necessary to include in the Lambda function. Then we'll move on to testing and give you some things to try if you need to troubleshoot what's going wrong. Finally, we'll discuss next steps and other projects you can make with your newfound skills. You know, the ideal student for this course is someone who likes computers and is interested in the Internet of Things. Any basic programming experience will help, but all code will be provided that is necessary to complete the course. Thanks so much for checking out the course. I hope you'll join over 1,000 students enrolled. This course enjoys a near 5-star rating. I look forward to having you as a student. But, as you can see, uh, my message came through. Let's go ahead and do it again live. So, uh, single click should trigger a message. There it is. And then a double click should trigger a message. There it is. Okay, it's working. And then a long hold. One, two, and a half. See if that registers as a long hold. There you go.